Gerritsen from NIP. And uh, we're really lucky that, that you could spare, uh, spare us a few moments. I know that you're really busy, that you're busy preparing for, for the first week of LCS, basically. But I wanted to ask you, since you're here in Sweden, if, if, is this your first visit? Uh, I've been to Sweden three times, as far as I can remember, and they've all been gaming related. I've been to DreamHack Winter last year, I've been to Thor Open, I think it's called, and here now. So, so you, you've been to Stockholm before as well? Uh, yes, I have. For Thor Open. And how do you like Stockholm so far? I haven't gotten to see much of the city, but I do like it. It's, it's a nice city. But I haven't gotten to like really experience it yet, so I hope I can do that before we leave. Uh, right now we're in what's probably the world's largest uh, gaming center. Uh, it's massive. It's called Inferno Online. Uh, what do you think about that? But because as far as I know, NIP, you, you have your own like your own room where mm -hmm. you can sit and practice. Uh, can, can you tell us a little bit more about that? This place is it's awesome. Like. I wasn't expecting anything like this when we were told that we could come boot camping in Stockholm. So it's above all my expectations. Um, I couldn't ask for anything better than this. This is near perfect, really. Sounds cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, and talking about NIP, you've been in the organization Ninja in Pyjamas now for only a couple of weeks. Uh, but how do you like it so far? It's a lot faster than what I've, not only was, but the organizations I've been to earlier. and. It's a lot more professional, it's a lot faster, it's, it's easier, the NIP is pretty much like a family, you can talk to anyone, it's not like you feel like you're just the player, that you just get ignored, pretty much, you just, you can talk to anyone about anything. Uh, I also wanted you to talk uh, a little bit about DreamHack, your preparations, so what are your expectations, uh, but firstly, the preparations, uh, how have they been? Uh, we had kind of a shaky start because we've been trying out a bunch of new stuff and then some people's motivations went kind of down because they weren't sure if we were losing because we were trying so much new stuff or if we were just making mistakes because of course mistakes come with more and more losses because you get less motivated but now that we've started to do better the last couple of days people have been more hyped and ready for DreamHack so I think it's going to go pretty well. I'm expecting 4-1 or 3-2. Okay. And what about the, the rest of the teams uh, that you will be facing in the first week of LCS after mm -hmm. Um What are your thoughts about them? Do you think that they are as equally prepared as you are? The new teams or in yeah, general? Yeah, the, the mainly the new teams, but also the mm -hmm. ones that, that were in the LCS uh, uh, before the split. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Lemon Dogs are just as strong as any other LCS team. I think they're really good. They have really good individual players and they have good strategies. I know Weevil Failure is good at making strategies, especially for early game. Um, I think Alternate and MYM might be a little bit behind compared to the other teams, but I can't quite say because I haven't, we haven't played against them, so I don't know how hard they've been practicing, if they have any new strategies, what they've been doing. I've only seen them play at the uh, LCS promotion qualifier. And uh, about you personally, what do you think your biggest strength as an individual player? The, what's the biggest strength you have, you think? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a hard question, but it is a hard uh, question. What, what do you think that you bring to a team uh, that is good? Uh, I think I have good mechanical skill compared to some other players. I lack some other things, but I think my strong main thing is my mechanical skill which is also why I play a lot of split pushers because then I can usually 1v1 people and usually get a kill like that because then you just abuse the mechanical skill of a player. But the, you were mentioning like weaknesses that you have mm. like good skills and you have uh, you know yeah, the, of course. The stuff that is less good. How do you uh, work on, on improving that? Uh, we pretty much recognize all of the weak sides of every player in our team and we just when it happens in the game afterwards we're like okay this happened we know this is your weakness and then the more the person sees the mistake the easier it will get for him to fix it or get better at it so we pretty much say like okay here you made a mistake you should have done this and then it's like okay that's the really important part is that the player recognizes the mistake I think 
Sounds good. Uh, I want to thank you uh, for this time. Yeah. I also um, want to wish you good luck at Brimac, obviously. Thanks. And uh, I want to give you a chance if you want to mention any final words. Uh, I think I just pretty much want to thank the fans because the fans are the reason we're here. The fans are the reason that this game is so big. Uh, the fans are everything to us. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you.